Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to Texas Farmstead Living. It's August and every August we always start our seeds for our fall and winter garden. Here in Texas, uh, in the Texas Hill Country, we feel like we have the best garden in the fall and winter. So uh, we found in the last couple of years that starting our own seeds is not only economical, but the plants seem to do a lot better. Of course, you can buy your plants at a nursery. Um, what we like to grow, uh, let me name a few, is uh, broccoli, cauliflower, collards, Swiss chard, and cabbage. And I kind of like to seed everything in succession so that like, I don't have all my cauliflower ready at once. One reason I like to start my fall winter garden seeds in my screened house is because it's very protected. Most of the fall and winter uh, plants are like collards or something leafy greens and it really helps keep bugs out and so I, I just about you know at dinner time I can just run out almost in my house shoes grab a few greens because it has a floor in here and I have a little pathway to the house it's just super convenient and it's it protects the plants you know a whole lot also since we're in Texas, we have to start our seedlings, you know, in the shade. And so we can have a shade cloth, you know, over this house until it gets colder and, and the plants need more sun. Also, this greenhouse is used for a chicken brooder. So after the chicks get big enough, it is just super uh, safe for them. They love it and they're adding fertilizer. It's so that's how we we don't use commercial fertilizers. We only use our animals, um, you know, for our fertilizer. So it just works out great. It's a dual use uh, building, definitely worth uh, every penny that it costs to build it. Okay, to start seeds, uh, of course you can you keep your six packs that you you know from left over from buying plants. What I like is I found these really small uh, clay pots and we're really trying to get away from plastics and so I'm going to use these. These little clay pots have a small little hole on the bottom. So when you, after you seed, you know, after you put your potting soil and you seed them, you want to make sure that you keep the soil very moist. And in a day or two, you will probably see the seeds start sprouting. So it's very important, even maybe, you know, twice a day here in Texas, we need to check for moisture. If your potting soil is not um, heavy enough, you can add some of your, your compost or your soil that you have at your house. Um, also, you know, and I would transplant these in probably one to two weeks because if you let them stay in the pot too long, they're going to root in the soil where you, you dug out and they're going to you know it's really going to go into damage the plant weaken it when you when you uh, are ready to t transplant so you want to make sure you don't wait too long so uh, i just want to point that out because i have definitely done that before and you know as you can see in the background also we're in severe texas drought and this week we finally got rain i think we've gotten more rain in the last few days than we've gotten in a whole year. I don't really remember it raining much since about the end of 2017. But anyway, so here in Texas, there's not much rainfall where we're at, so keep these very, very moist. And this little clay pot helps a whole lot. I like to dig just a little, little, you know, spot so that the clay pot won't fall over. And I'll just get, you know, I like, I'm going to start like six today. And I already have um, broccoli and cauliflower going. And each day I'm just kind of adding. But I'm going to put these first. Because when we water them, you know, it's really hard to not knock them over. And so we're going to do that first. Okay, next we're going to, I'm just going to use potting soil 
the soil in here has a lot of milo in it so I'm trying to avoid getting any milo in any of the dirt that's going in these pots. Anyway this is just like an organic potting soil. Next, you want to put a little bit of water and kind of water the soil, make it really, really moist. And it might take a while for the potting soil to absorb the moisture. Okay, so I like to take my handle for my shovel and collards. I always keep my seeds in canning jars. So we're going to do baits collards today. And so you want to make sure that you know you know how deep that you're gonna plant your seeds. I'm gonna do about half inch. So take your handle just go about half inch in the middle, press it down. Because most of the seeds are really, really small. And so you're gonna have multiple plants come up. And so one little handy trick that I do is when you have, you know, multiple seeds coming up and you see it, just get some little cuticle scissors and clip everything off. Don't try to pull them out because you'll disturb the root system, but this works great. I would do that for everything. Tomatoes, because I don't really, all my tomatoes are volunteer and it's usually a tomato that fe fell off and is reseeding the next year. So we have to use, do that a lot. Okay, so just try to get a, you know two or three seeds, maybe in each little hole. And I always, when I close my seed packs, I always use the blue painter's tape that's resealable, just so I know which ones are open because I keep lots of seeds. Okay, I'm just gonna go through and pack that in. A little sprinkle. Okay, so another little thing that's important is to label your seeds, the pots, anyway. So I use popsicle sticks and a Sharpie. Okay, we're just going to write on the popsicle stick, collards, maybe a date would be good. Today is 8.25. So you'll just have to look in your location to see when you should, you know, start your fall and winter garden. So even, uh, even you guys that live up north, so one thing I do because I learned this when we had all the, the Texas freeze about a year and a half ago, is this year I will be making several pots, probably three to four, with collards in one, Swiss chard, things that I can pick and they'll grow back and I will seed, you know, seed those in here and then when it starts getting cold I will bring those in the house and put them in a sunny location just so that I always have something to eat because that is very important. So even if you live up north you can still have a couple of pots full of collards. Collards are like our favorite. So I hope that this helped you sowing seeds is so easy um, and having a fall and winter garden I feel like is the best and or it's the easiest for us in Texas so anyway I hope this helped have a blessed day and we will see you in the next video bye bye